Let's have a quick look at some of the options that we have to import and export VLCM data. VLCM being our vSphere Lifecycle Manager capability. In the Updates tab on a VLCM enabled cluster, we'll see the desired state, we see the Edit button, and we see the three dots here. Once we click that, we have the ability to export and import data. Let's take a closer look at exporting data. We have the option to, with the use of a JSON file to export a desired state image configuration and to set that same exact configuration up for other clusters as well. We also have the option to export the entire ISO. Now this is a great time saver because once you hit that export button, it'll create an ISO for you consisting of the entire desired state image. So if you have new host that you need to add to a specific cluster, to this specific VLCM enabled cluster, you can install those hosts using this ISO. And when you add them to the cluster, they'll immediately be compliant to that desired state image. So that is a definitely a great time saver. For the JSON file, we can export this specific desired state image configuration. And now if we take a look at a new cluster that I quickly created, what I can see is that I still need to enable VLCM because do remember VLCM needs to be enabled on the per cluster level. So we'll hit that manage with a single image button. And typically what we would do is to set up an image. But now let's go for the import image option. We'll hit browse. We'll see that same exact JSON file we just exported. We see we hit next. It'll convert to an image and here you see that we have the exact same configuration for the desired state image as we had with the other cluster, the originating cluster. Once we hit save, this new cluster will be set up to use VLCM with the same exact desired state image. I hope this was helpful. See you next time. <music>